Both teams have some injuries. There's no doubt about it. Um, the 49ers, Jimmy Ward being out is probably about as big as it can get. McGlinchey's been banged up but looking good. Daniel Brunskill's not looking promising, and the 49ers just added another very core player to their injury list. George Kittle with a groin strain. Here's Shanahan talking about it briefly at practice. I'm not sure. I was hoping to be good today. Did it a little on Monday and not feeling good today, so we'll have to see day by day. Day by day, um, not great. I would say pay attention to the days. If he suits up and gets a just limited practice in on Friday, then I think he plays. If he doesn't, he's going to be out. Now, the good news with that, you have four tight ends, most in the NFL, on your active roster. Uh, and you just brought Tro Fo Troy Fumagalli back, who was with us during the preseason to the practice squad. So I don't think you lose this game because George Kittle's out. A tight end is a position of strength for the 49ers especially blocking wise now maybe a little bit of those receiving big plays that Kittle can bring but let's be honest we haven't really seen Kyle Shanahan scheme those up in quite a while Oren Burks who is our fourth linebacker questionable bigger special teams guy Ambry Thomas questionable but I think he's going to be fine as well so those are kind of the biggest issues out there now we go to the Bears and really just a bad roster to start with but their wide receivers are all questionable. Now, the good news is I don't ever want players to be out for injury, even if it ensures the 49ers winning. I want the 49ers to win because they're the better team. I want to play people at their full strength. Byron Pringle, who's a starter for this offense, probably their slot guy. He's questionable, but he did practice Monday. Vellis Jones, rookie starter, uh, questionable, but he did practice uh, Monday. Their center, Lucas Patrick, who they got over, I think, from the Packers. Um, he's questionable, but he did practice Monday. So I think they're all going to play. But in a bad wide receiver core, Tajay Sharp and Nikhil Harry, who they traded for, both on IR. So they're 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 very they're shallow. Uh, Dante Pettis shallow. The 49ers Rush Podcast.